Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today was a tough day for green bar trading. Um, yeah, not good. Um, we hit our max loss. So uh, for those that don't know, our max loss is $100. I hit that and stopped trading because that is one of the rules that I put out there. But, you know, the most frustrating part of this day is I was up. I went into the Discord. I told everyone to watch out it looked like it was going to be a very choppy day and I should have listened to my own advice and just stopped trading. But instead I didn't, um, which is fine. And I'm not even, I'm not even mad at the trades that I took because I took good setups. I took good trades. Um, the market, the timing of it just was not good. The overall market all day long was just really, I mean, it was like the bottom fall, you know, could fall out at any moment. And that's the way that trading felt. There was a lot of huge sell orders going through on all the stocks that I was looking at, uh, the indexes, you know, big, big drops, um, you know, seemingly out of nowhere. So this is where I'm going to ask you guys um, to hit the thumbs up. These videos are very tough to make. I had 13 straight days, green days. This is a big red day for me, max loss. So hitting the thumbs up, it'll at least, you know, help, help my soul. It, it helps the channel a lot, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, hitting the thumbs up. And I'll wait a second while you do that right now. Okay, you're probably done hitting the thumbs up. I, I really do appreciate it. But I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna show you the overall market. And you're gonna see how choppy it was. And when it's like that, my trading style is very tough to trade. Um, when the trends or, you know, the way, the way that the market is setting up usually follows, a, you know, some kind of pattern. I would say 99% of the time, it'll follow a pattern that I'm able to identify intra, intraday. Today, it was all over the place, which made it tough. Um, so anyway, going forward, I'm not really you know, that mad about the way that I traded, but I realized it and I took a lot of trades. So I shouldn't have done that. So here we go. Sharing the max loss day. So I'm going to break this down oof, really simply. And one of the trades this was one trade here on Uber. Uber was a very strong stock today until I bought it, okay? Without this loss, and there was one trade that I wish I had back on Apple, I'm gonna show you those two trades that accounted for about 90% of this loss. Um, so let's start with, why don't we start with the overall market? Um, let's go to the SPY. Okay, SPY. That is just a wild day. Usually the way that it's that the market will set up is you'll have higher highs, higher lows, and it'll actually make sense the overall direction. 
we had a drop here and the bottom got bought up. We didn't make a new high. Now, my bias going into this day was I felt like we were already overbought. So my bias was that we were going to have a red day. So in my mind, I constantly was, you know, under the impression that at any moment, you know, we were going to have a big sell off. But instead, we got these weird, you know, instead of selling off, what normally would, would happen here is when you had this choppiness and you make a new low here, this here is unusual. Um, you know, usually it would come up here and then it, it would uh, continue, um, you know, to go down to previous lows for the day. It's just the market has been so strong. Now, I also knew that. That's why I didn't take any put contracts on the SPY. Normally, if I think a day is going to be negative, I'll buy put contracts on the SPY. I didn't do that today because there was always a possibility for this. What has been happening, right? We've been getting a lot of buying off the open and we've been getting a lot of buying at the end of the day. What threw me for a loop was the middle of the day, okay? Around one o'clock, every single day around one o'clock, big institutions will put in orders of how they're going to think the end of the day is going to close. We had a huge sell-off at one o'clock. So that reinforced my bias that the big institutions, all the smart money, all the big money was, um, they were betting for the market to go down. So my bias was just so like, I just thought at any moment over here, we were gonna go down. And this just caught me by surprise right here. So um, I'll show you this arrow. This arrow after this buying right here, I decided to get into one of my high beta stocks because at this moment, you guys ha have all remembered, this has been happening a lot. The only problem is when I bought, it was uh, about 320, I went in and bought Apple and we just tanked. I mean, the second I bought it, I was sitting with about 40% of my whole daily loss in this one trade because I'm trading now with almost $30,000 positions. Like I said, my, my winners are gonna be bigger, but my, lo my losers are also going to be bigger. So that's what happened here. I'll just go over this one trade on Apple. That was a pretty big loss. Um, and it was right here. Let's see if I could zoom in on this. So where did I buy it? Okay, yeah, it was right here. I bought right here. It looked super bullish. Um, on the SPY, I had the backup of the VWAP. So I never thought we were going to pull back as much as we did. So I, I, I held on to this one a little bit longer. I thought we would have a pullback and then a continued uh, move higher. Instead, I ended up taking just almost a 20 cent uh, hit here on 200 shares. That's almost, that's almost 40%. So $40 out of the 110, you know, it's about 30% of the loss for my day it was on this one trade right here on Apple. I was buying something super strong, but I just bought it to extended. That is an extended buy right here. And then another one that got me um, was Uber. And this was about uh, 60 or about 50% of my loss 
So I have this trend line here that I'll show you guys. It was setting up very nicely. Higher highs, higher lows. Now we got to bounce off VWAP. Came up here. I waited for the pullback. And this is where it just, it totally broke down on me. Um, and just took too big of a loss again, you know, over 20, over 20 cents here on 200 shares, not what you want to see. Um, and it continued to, you know, break down something. It was so strong. I got in and it got really weak as did the overall market at one o'clock. Just bad, just bad timing on this trade right here. Um, and, you know, these two trades really got me. But, you know, not not the end of the world. We hit max loss. And um, not going to be the last time this happens. Um, not the first time it happened. So we just um, go on and see what we'll see tomorrow. I'm just going to take a look for you guys while I have you here at where the market is shaping up because I haven't looked at the market since I shut down my platform. So let's go look at the futures. Um, let's see here. This was also a little, a small little loser here on the futures. This is where I also um, should have just uh, taken the profit here when it hit four, uh, 41.10, but I really thought that we were going to continue to go lower. Um, just, wasn't, just wasn't dialed in. The market was way too choppy today. Um, it happens. So where are we at on the futures about? about where we closed up. So we'll see what happens um, tomorrow with that. Uh, what do we have going on tomorrow? Any earnings? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. JP Morgan, Bank of America, Intel we got coming up, Netflix, Verizon, uh, Wells Fargo. A lot of these are um, also next week's earnings. So Intel got some pretty good news uh, right around, what time is it? Right, right around this time here, Intel is going to be making chips now for the car industry. Um, a lot of these cars need chips um, and they've been running behind. They haven't been able to get the supply so Intel is now going to be um, getting some extra revenue from the car industry. Um, that should be a pretty good catalyst for this stock. The semiconductors overall um, should be good. So anyway, guys, you know, hitting max losses sucks, right? Nobody wants to hit their max loss, but I set a max loss because I don't want it to go any further. So I could have kept trading, you know, over and over and over. I could have over traded like crazy and I could be sitting down a thousand dollars right now. So, you know, while it's only a hundred dollars, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, there's always tomorrow. I'm going to feel 1000% perfect tomorrow when I wake up because it was only $100, not the end of the world. I had 13 straight days of green. This day was inevitable. It was going to happen. And now I have this put past me. I got that red day out of the way. And now I'm just going to go and trade the market you're in. This market is super tricky. It's very difficult. The best day traders are having a very tough time in this market. Know the market you're in, trade the market you're in, and you'll be that much better off um, 
you know, going forward. So, you know, and set your rules for yourself and listen to yourself. Uh, you got to follow your rules and, you know, there's always tomorrow, the market's not going anywhere and you'll feel much better about how you traded if you do follow your rules. So I was a little, you know, words of advice there at the end. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, the Discord is going to be linked in the description. I highly recommend you guys joining it. Great people in there. Good trade ideas in there. Um, you know, we're all in the same boat. We're all trading. We're all looking at the market. It's nice to have a lot of different eyes on the market because you can't see everything. So somebody might say, hey, look, uh, you know, X, Y, and Z is taking off or this, and you could just pop it up there. It's actually really nice. Um, so I'll link that in the description. And I uh, hope everybody has a great day and a good week of trading. Uh, earnings, it's going to be interesting week. And the coin IPO, crazy on Wednesday. Um, so hit that thumbs up for me. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Take care.